outside every day and um, sometimes it might involve working in the outdoor classroom but oftentimes we go to the forest or just for walks in the in the neighborhood um, from these walks and experiences in the forest that's where we get a lot of our our wonderings and our basis for inquiries make snow angels and donate the snow Sometimes when they're in the forest, students might be hesitant at first to move among the logs, and then eventually they feel confident and competent that they can do these things. And when they feel confident in, in these abilities, then they start to um, explore a little bit more in the classroom as well. The nature of nature is uh, constantly changing. It, it's always a bit available to us. So we never, I've never had to do the same thing because it, the ideas come from the kids based on what's happening outside. They're learning the animals and trees in their area. And when they do that, they become connected to it. They want to take care of it. We love learning outdoors! Wait, how did you know? Outdoor learning is a great way to engage our students and get them outside of the classroom where they can be working collaboratively together um, in order to solve uh, math problems. <laughs> I got a GoPro! <laughs> nice! So this is 60. We love the outdoors! Right behind me, the kids are actually doing um, some snow art. So they've got uh, water bottles filled with different um, food colors. We were out here building structures for science, um, tallest structures, um, and then a lot of cooperative oh. games. I love the mittens in the snow, hands in the dirt, singing in the rain, um, because you get such a great variety of educators and parents coming together. You have people who are really passionate about it and have things to share and you also get people who are, are new to it that just want to learn more. The community of people who come out for these um, outdoor conferences is a really positive one and then you are able to make connections with um, other educators.